interesting stories, I guess, uh, from my time of grooming the trailers. Oh, it was several years ago, and we decided to have one of our full moon ski ins. And the gist of that is, I usually come out, groom the track down, get it as nice as I can get it, because we sometimes get a crowd of people that come out for the full moon ski in. So I came out, was doing that. I had a truck full of stuff. We were taking barbecue uh, grills in to, uh, to have a food function. And I took a car hood loaded with uh, uh, some kindling and firewood. We do this back at what we call Grand Central Station back um, on the big loop there, the major loop. We shovel out picnic tables. Oh, nice. And uh, set the barbecue up and people come in and the full moon's rising up over the trees. And it's just a stunning thing to do. This particular one, we decided to set candelarias every couple of hundred yards along the trail. We had a, instead of using sacks, we used milk bottles, but put candles in them and <laughs> had a little illumination that way. And um, it was scheduled to start about six o'clock. And I had everything just perfect. And I should mention it was a pretty good blizzard going on. Oh. So I just kept grooming and kept grooming as the new snow would fall. And after a while, I noticed nobody was showing up for the ski in, which uh, kind of depressed me. It was not going to be the best full moon ski in, but certainly with a full moon, the entire cloud in the sky would have illuminated. It would still been nice. So about 8 o'clock, I decided nobody was coming, put the fire out, turned the grills off, rode back out to my truck, went down, back down the highway, and there were two state policemen sitting sideways. They weren't letting anybody oh, no. <laughs> come up the highway. That's awful. So they were all turned away. Everybody, and they wanted to know how I got out. <laughs> that was, <laughs> it was a pretty good blizzard, evidently. But just a funny story that happened along the trail.